take a look at your phone for a second. How many emails do you think are sitting in your inbox? Hundreds, maybe thousands. Mm -hmm. Well, keeping up with all that digital clutter can be anxiety-inducing a lot of people. And there are ways to manage the barrage of emails, photos, and files that are clogging up your phone and your computer. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman explains steps that we can all take to store these files and unclog our devices. Digital clutter, you have it even if you don't realize it. Like when your phone says you have 3,000 emails that are unread. You've either got it through your iPad, your phone, your computer, and it's just bombarding you. Emails, photos, Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff. Digital stuff taking over your devices. They hoard it. They, they don't want to get rid of a lot of the stuff. They, they uh, feel like they're going to need it at some point in the future. Jimmy and Sarah knows all about getting control of your digital clutter. He's a general manager of Team Trinet, which help businesses manage their IT needs. Everybody holds on to data. Storage is one of the biggest things that uh, we're, we're constantly either upgrading or working with employees to clear. First problem, email, email, email. Tell you how many emails I do have. We're talking tens of thousands. I have about 12,000 on my phone. It's way too many. And who wants to deal with that? Just because it's you gotta go through and click it all. Click, 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 click. Delete, delete, delete. People use their deleted items folder in their email as a file cabinet. They like to go back and reference emails that they may have deleted. Move them out into another folder if you're gonna go back and reference them. Otherwise, just purge. So many pictures, so little space. I find the best practice with photos is to get some sort of online storage, uh, like a OneDrive or Apple storage, which is in the cloud, and then you would back up all your photos to your cloud-based storage, and at that point, you can delete everything off your local machine, freeing up space and allowing you to take more photos. Don't let files clutter your desktop. Organize them like a file cabinet. Don't throw a piece of paper in the file cabinet. You take a folder, you put the piece of paper in it, and then you file it. Same same concept applies with uh, digital content, really. And discard the downloads. Just checking your downloads folders, maybe once a month going through your desktop, documents folders, or anywhere where you're saving data, and just kind of purging helps. And Sarah says your devices will work better, and you will too. It's a good feeling. You feel lighter. You feel like you can navigate your computer a little easier. And Sarah says backing things up is key. It helps you declutter and delete stuff off your local device. But remember, storage does get costly. The more you can completely purge, the more space and money you'll save. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.